G'day, how you going? So we're going to talk about white balance. So white balance really is just a tool that the camera uses to adjust the, uh, the colors that are in the photos and the videos. What it's trying to do is that it's trying to ensure that anything white in the shot is a true white and then once it figures that out then the rest of the colors will adjust accordingly. So it all depends on the light source though. So this can change um, a lot of the times depending on what scene you're in. So uh, it's for the main for the main part you just put it on auto white balance. That's what I do. Um, but there, there are certain situations where you'll need to change it. Now Olympus they give you uh, most cameras do uh, presets um, that you can use. So we'll go through the presets and there's also um, certain scenarios where the presets don't work and then you can use a thing called one touch white balance where you, you put a white piece of paper and you record that whiteness of that paper near the actual source of the what you're taking a photo of and then that's white and then the, and the colors will be uh, correct. There's a thing called keep warm colors now what that's for is inside when you're when you're shooting inside under like tungsten lighting or just like normal you know the warm colored light bulbs if you leave that on it's going to like add a bit more warmthness to the photo if you take that off it's going to give you the true color of the shot if you leave that on outside nothing happens it's only it only ever works inside to get to the white balance you can go to the super control panel and in here you'll see the white balance there and you can change it to whatever if you want to know what they are click enter and then down the bottom you'll see sunny shadow cloudy incandescent fluoro underwater i don't know what the hell that is for i mean the camera is not even waterproof i guess you can buy cases and I don't know i'm never going to use it and then um when you we work with flash i don't know anything about flash yet so I'll, I'll talk about that another time and then you can use that one capture white balance so i'll show you later white balance auto pretty much sums up the whole scene and picks the correct colors that it should be based on what whiteness it can see Now Sunny, Sunny is set at 5300 Kelvin. When I'm talking about Kelvin, I'm talking about the temperature of the of the light. So it's all measured in a thing called Kelvin. Sunny is for shooting outdoors on a clear day or to capture the reds in a sunset or the colors in say like fireworks for instance. Shadow, what shadow does, that sets it at 7500 Kelvin. That's for shooting outdoors in the shade on a like a clear day so if you're in a shady area you can set it to shadows and that brings out the true colors in the shade and the shadows of like trees and stuff then you've got cloudy and cloudy is at 6000 kelvin that's for shooting on cloudy days obviously okay so now i'm in an incandescent light that's just those normal lights that you get inside the one the warmer ones and you can see you can tell you're inside when you see photos like this, you can tell that the light's on and it's one of those old incandescent lights. So now I've flipped it over to the incandescent preset on the white balance and you can see it's much better now. To me that looks better. So those presets, you, you might as well use them, especially if you're inside. Okay, so this is white balance on auto and I'm inside with a fluorescent light. Okay, so now I've flipped it over to the fluorescent mode and that's what it looks like now. The auto did a pretty good job by itself, but if you want to get precise and you're under a fluorescent lights, in, mainly inside obviously, you can use the presets there. Now this capture, what this means is you're going to tell the camera what white is. The way to do that, you have those color charts that you can buy or you just get a white piece of paper and then take a photo of that and that'll tell the camera what white is. So what to do is you hit enter, pick one, so go into it and then you see the little info key, you hit that and then point the camera at a sheet of white paper. Now you've got to point it, you've got to put the, ca the white paper near where you're shooting there's no point putting it somewhere else because the light 
is 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 bouncing around all over the place so you want it, the light source the, the correct white to be exactly where the light is falling on so and then you've got to fill the frame as well that's where the light's hitting and then you take a shot and then you have a look at it and you go yeah that'll do and press yes so now let's go back so now it's already set there you see on the you see there now it's already set it to one now that's been set now you can actually see there that's done a really good job i might start using this more often and then the last one here is custom white balance what custom white balance is, is you can actually pinpoint what you want in kelvin you press the info key and then you can muck around with the Kelvin as you go. 2000 is the coolest. And then it just, you can see how it gradually goes up and it becomes warmer. Now there's another thing, if you want to get really into it, you can fine tune stuff. If you go into the, into the menu, there's a, in here, in the white balance, you can select it here, what you want. You got, you know, the different ones, sunny, shadow, cloudy. But if you if you click right, say oh, I'm in sunny, and like you know, I don't know, say you live in Norway or something, and you you want it a little bit, you want sunny to be always a little bit uh, uh, warmer, you know, you can adjust stuff here. I mean, you know, you got to be full on if you want to know what what you held, what you're doing there. But you know, you can play around with that, and then that that'll change the preset to be plus or minus the um, A and G, which is the red, blue, and the green magenta. So A is the red and blue, and the G axis is the green magenta. So that's it. So all white balance really is, is just the uh, affecting the temperature of the of the image, and that which will affect the color. So it's adjusting the color of the, of the, of the photos, and you can use the presets or the, or at one touch. So no worries, I'll see you next video.